Okay, so we have a question today from one of our friends on Instagram. Um, he sells uh, UFC memorabilia, UFC cards, WWE memorabilia, and boxing autographs. Um, he says he's been selling on eBay, Mercari, um, Facebook groups, etc. Um, he says he uh, he wants to branch out and start dealing with collectors only and kind of avoid dealing with flippers. So he's been dealing with a lot of flippers on eBay that, you know, send them low offers and stuff like that. You know, kind of the, a lot, this kind of the narrative on this channel lately with a lot of people. So he wants to know how you can get out of that kind of rut and just start dealing with collectors um, who will spend money and, you know, uh, not be looking for to haggle price all the time. I don't know if I have any um, tips that could be helpful to him. Um, all right, so look, the best thing I can offer you, it's not the sexy answer that you're going to want to hear. Um, this stuff is going to take a long time for you to get to this point where you're dealing with people that, you know, ain't there to haggle price with you. They just, they like your products, they buy your products um, because you provide good service. Um, there's a few things you need to take here. Um, one of the most important things is um, you need to build trust with your customer base. Um, if you're going to start a memorabilia business, um, the most important part of selling autographs or cards or whatever, any kind of memorabilia is trust. Um, there's a lot of fraud in this business. There's a lot of junk in this business. There's a lot of just piece of crap people in this business. Um, so you need to prove to your customer that you are a legitimate business person, that you um, are not trying to get over on them in any way, um, and you need to provide exceptional customer service. Um, you need to get to know your customer, okay? You need to, you know, think of it like this. We're in a digital world now, so everything is online. When I used to buy cards and sports memorabilia, I used to go to a corner store, to a card shop. There was a card shop in my neighborhood that I would go to. And I used to hang out in there and talk to the owners. And if I was running a brick and mortar, that's how that atmosphere would be. Like when my customers come in, they'd hang out for like an hour and sip some coffee and talk sports, talk UFC, talk boxing, whatever your thing is. You need to, you need to interact with your customer, okay? Your customer, you're doing this you know, this is a community, okay? So who you're selling to, you need to interact with. You need to build a relationship with your customers. They will come back to you and it's not, a, it's not about them getting a deal or, you know, haggling you and all that stuff. They're going to buy stuff. You need to, you can't overprice your, your stuff too. And when you build a customer base, you need to um, take care of the people that come back to you. You need to give them discounts. You need to work with them on uh, prices, you know, just let them know if there's somebody that they're looking for, let them know ahead of time, give them, an, uh, you know, uh, the first shot at getting that uh, item that they might have wanted. So you need to uh, personalize your business with your customer, okay? Um, even when you start to get bigger and bigger, you need to really focus on those people that always come back to you and look at them as your, I mean, they're the lifeblood of your business. Um, the thing with eBay is selling on eBay and platforms like that, Mercari, um, they're not, there's no real personalization there. Um, a lot of these people are buying because they trust eBay. They trust Mercari. They know that um, if you give them crap, they're going to go back to the platform and there's going to be repercussions for that. Um, you know, when people are buying off you directly, off a website, come to your website or whatever, um, they have to know that they're going to get what they are paying for. So there's a lot of communication involved with that. So um, you're going to need to also offer stuff for free, free shipping, um, free information, um, your time. Like there is a ton that goes into this that I think a lot of people don't know. Like anybody can go on eBay and put, throw a listing up because you got a card you want to sell and someone will buy it or they're, they're going to send you, you know, you get, you get a lot of flippers on eBay because that's where people go to get deals. I mean, that's what eBay is. Um, yes, it's annoying as a seller, but don't put your best products on eBay. All right. 
if you're looking to really start a business selling WWE stuff and UFC stuff, you're going to have to put a lot of work into this. And it takes years, okay? It takes years. And you, you hopefully have something else going on on the side to where you can continue to build this business. But it takes years. And trust and customer service are the most important thing. If you can't provide that for a customer, if you don't have the social skills to talk to your customer, um, then you need you go get a job. Do something else because it's not going to work. You can continue to sell on eBay. And yes, you will make a little bit of money. But... At the end of the day, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that customer you want to deal with. You want collectors. You want to deal with people that come and buy off you because they're buying you. They're not buying. They, it's not the product per se. It's you that they want to deal with. So eBay, you're not going to get any of that. You're just another face in the crowd. Um, you're going to get lame offers. You're getting people that are trying to get a deal so they can go flip the flip the glove on another platform. Or I mean, I've seen people buying stuff on eBay that get a deal and then they literally turn around and list it the next, as soon as they get it and, you know, add a $20 price tag on it just to make five or 10 bucks so they can pay their, um, pay their gas money or whatever. You know, people, most people on eBay are flipping to enhance their own collection. I mean, they're not in there as a business. Um, most high level memorabilia dealers don't sell on eBay or they liquidate on eBay. They put stuff on there that they need to like, a lot of memorabilia deals are those signings and they'll just have a ton of product that they need to just move to break even, get some money back. And then they sell their product on their website to their actual customer base that they've built. People that just keep continuously coming back to them. So that's what eBay is. You're not going to build a relationship with your customer on there. You're not going to build any kind of business on eBay. It is a place to just make a quick buck or enhance, flip something so you can take the money and buy something else that you want in your collection or dealers go there and get deals too. I mean, they have auctions on there for a reason. You go, you get your auction, you get something at a discounted price, and then you flip it, you know? That's just how the game is, you know? Um, so, yeah, you want to you want to start selling memorabilia and you want to make it out of a business, then that's what you need to do. You need to build trust with the customer base. You need to put a lot of time in with your communication skills. Um, you need to build an email list. You need to build a social media following. You need to um, just interact with people, not trying to sell them things. You need to just talk to people in general. It's not always about the sale, um, and that's it. Like it's it's a long game. It's a very long game, um, and just being helpful to people. That is, it's customer service, man. And think of your business as that card shop you go to or used to go to when you were a kid, where you'd sit there and you talk about sports with the owner of the shop. That's memories I have from memorabilia. So, you know, collecting cards and stuff as a kid. And those times are gone, so you need to do it digitally now. And that's what you need to create. You need to create a virtual memorabilia shop, card shop, whatever you say, you know. And that's it. All right. So I hope this helps. Um, probably not the answer you wanted to hear. Since you're selling on eBay, I'm sure you're trying to make money right now. But it, it's it's this goes into building a business, man. You just have to. Um, and also another thing, too, is... If there's any card shows, I'm not sure where you live, but if there's any card shows that come to your town, uh, conventions, memorabilia, stuff like that, get a table, interact with customers there, um, you know, be open to do trades with them, uh, stuff like that. That's something that uh, could also help business. One-on-one -on -one interaction with people um, at these shows can help, and you also get a lot of networking opportunities. So hope this helps. Trust is key. Customer service is key. Uh, good luck in your journey. I hope you um, are successful and I hope you take these points that I gave you and use them. Um, if you are interested in collecting some UFC memorabilia, if you're starting your collection, enhancing your collection, check out the link in the description. We ship free all over the world. I don't care where you live. I will ship to you for free. Um, if you sign up for the email list, you get 10% off your first purchase. So you're going to get some savings there as well. We have the biggest names in the UFC. Check out the website. We'll see you in the next video.